The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? <laughs> Paul had always been a showman. Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I... Uh Bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. 
He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh... Why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring him to the place. Welcome to Project Pro. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. 
all with no evidence. It works. But they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? It's stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. This is a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment.
Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? Oh, no, I gotta let you out. Oh god. No, 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 no. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Well. Well. She was right all this time. I warned Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Jack! There's no other way.
our way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Jack! Come on! You can escape through the hatch I came in through. I didn't want to leave Paul. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Jack! What the hell? Hurry! This way! Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! Jack, you just, what just, go, this way, move. That was the first time my power started to manifest, an out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the chrono Will, field. what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Well, locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. Thank you. Securing the Will. server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh. you. Shh. You. Since. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. in time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh God! Target's armed! Opening fire! He's getting down! Yeah, I noticed! Stay down. Put down the gun, Joyce! And stop fucking shooting at us!
Will, are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey, take him down! What? These guys are wearing monarchy. Hey, hey, the other monarchy. Joyce is here too! Move around! Ah. You tell me! Hey! For once, this is my fault! Time's acting up again. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Will? Oh, crap. Frozen again. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Where's your car? This way. I met this girl. I'm on the way here. Move it. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. We can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was gonna happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will.
What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce <laughs> while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Boron or Neutron or some shit. Supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. Your car will. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. too late. That's. I'm seeing the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him. I could do this. Stop. How many of these guys are Change of plans. Screw the car. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated then. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please. 
please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut, can the, shut hell the hell up. Just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said, Boss to, said take to take him to the library. To the library. Wants, to wants to deal with this, with this one person. person. Got to get to the library. That's where they're taking him. <sighs> what? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. Open fire! It's Joyce! Enemy spot! Who do you think you are? Okay, gotta get to the library. <laughs> no time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the li- <laughs> Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? Looks like I'm not the only one with a grudge. <clears throat> Gotta slow that thing down somehow. This is airlift. 
Prime. Hey! Hands where I can sit! What the hell is going on around here? HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Welcome brother is. The skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. The library is ready to blow. Now? Gotta move. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jeff. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. Take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time to come up with one. I'm empty! I think they changed their minds. to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. 
Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. I'm sorry, Jack. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps> My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, clear, potentially turn on Monarch. 
Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No! Wait! Please! Please, stop! Please! Help me! Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait! No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Hmm.
fuck's wrong with you? Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of your report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, all Where? we have, huh? Where? Where what? Where, oh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Burner. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And we're in. Eh? Street cams, dash cams, computers at headquarters. I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? It's a coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, can you tell me what's next, Brenner? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. I was just... Wincott, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? What the... Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office.
Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Well. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm being difficult, being, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Yeah. Bert, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. any moment, Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and the Monarch's headquarters demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. 
You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. is currently holding regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently investigating the premature demolition of the university library. Monarch Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. Well, these Two bacon and egg sandwiches. Until they Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on animals is expected to become law today. Animal rights activists. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411? Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun! I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Me hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. 
Down! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks oh. Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Superhero. 
Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Copy that. 